Let's take a look how to warp this text here in After Effects. Okay, so click on new composition. I gotta rename it as text one. Let's go with a 1080p, three seconds, black background, click OK, select the type tool, type in whatever you want, press the letter S, scale it up. By the way, I went with a humane semi bold. Also go and align it to the center and I'm gonna scale it all the way up. Right click here, click on new, select solid and just change the color on whatever you like. I gotta go with purple, click OK, click OK. And now drag it under the text. I gotta select the text. I also gonna recolor it to black. Click OK, select both layers, press Ctrl C, and I gotta right click here, click on new composition, rename it as text two, click OK, press Ctrl V, and I'm gonna select the purple solid. Let's go to layer, solid settings, and I'm gonna change the color on this one to some toxic green. Click OK, click OK. Now I'm gonna right click here, click on new composition, and we're gonna duplicate the height. So right now the height is on 1080 plus 1080 because we're gonna go with the same height. Click here, it's gonna double it up. I'm gonna go with a final comp, click OK, zoom out and I'm gonna select these two text comps that I created, drag it in and I'm gonna go with this one down, let's align it to the bottom and I'm gonna go with the green to the top, align it to the top, there you go. And now I'm gonna need a new text, so I'm gonna go for example on text number two, select the pender text, control C, let's go to the final comp, control V. Right now it's not visible because it's right here, I'm gonna align it to the center and I'm gonna recolor it, for example, on orange-ish, click OK, and I'm gonna drag it under the two text. So it's gonna disappear, select the first text, let's go to effects and presets, type in mesh, and drag and drop the mesh on the green text, and again, drag and drop the text on the purple text. Now I'm gonna select the purple, let's go to row one, column two. So if you uncheck it, you won't see it, but if you select the mesh warp, it's gonna look something like this. And now we're gonna activate the distortion mesh. Click on it, we're gonna go to the 10th frame, and I'm gonna bring this path right where this orange text ends, somewhere here. Now let's select the green one, do the same thing, row one, column two, bring this to the beginning, activate the distortion mesh stopwatch, let's go to the 10th frame, and now I'm gonna select this path and bring it up where the text ends. So if you bring it back, it's gonna look something like this. Select both text, press the letter U, so it's gonna highlight the keyframes, select both, press F9 to easy ease. Now I'm gonna bring these out to one second, select the keyframe, press Ctrl C, press Ctrl V, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and I'm gonna go somewhere here, select these keyframes, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, so it's gonna go back and it's gonna loop itself, but actually I'm gonna need to push it all the way somewhere here. Select all the keyframes, let's go to Graph Editor, select all these paths, and bring the handles to the left, deactivate the Graph Editor, let's see what we got, and there you go. I'm also gonna add some shadows to the green. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in shadow and bring the drop shadow on the green. I'm gonna bring down the direction, 180, distance, increase, and look at that. And this is it, thanks for watching.